Welcome nerds and news hunters, in this build guide we're going to go through the lightning warrior uh, and I'm really excited because this is so awesome and I can't wait to show you guys so keep watching. So welcome back guys, let me start off with showing you plus two veteran dungeon here and uh, then I can show you that this build actually works and what you can do with it. So I will actually jump in here, use a bit of lightning on these guys. You know when you spend your rage you gain willpower. So this goes hand in hand, you can spend your rage and you see if I use this bleeding edge I would gain back my willpower, right? So I can jump in, use my shout, bleeding edge, roll away and do lightning. And it's pretty fun. <laughs> we got a rare here, let's just test it out on this rare. I can show you what I mean. Lightning. And it's done, right? So, let's uh, head back into town and let me show you, let me show you what I do to make this work. All right, guys. So here we are, looking at the passive skill three. Three. You can see that we uh, uh, have chosen this way in soldier ferocity, ferocity critical hit chance. Soldier the wild card critical hit to buff up the damage. We got spell critical hit chance, which is pretty, uh, pretty nice uh, for this build. And uh, if we continue up here, you can see uh, that we have 10% spell damage here to buff up the lightning, and we have spell cost reduction and willpower to, uh, regeneration, just to buff that up because I want to go down here and gain the 100% spell critical hit chance score when willpower is above 75% and we have some transfer time from willpower to rage here that is uh, uh, improved with 30% and life leech from spell damage I want to be able to run around and throw some lightning and gain some health back and that is really rocking and awesome right so uh, this is is practically going to give us healing, you know, like a healing ability when we use our lightning to do a ton of damage anyways, and it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, so we got uh, ferocity here, toughness, we picked uh, maximum health 15%, and I will show you why. Uh, we have some more resistances here, that's giving us also damage because we have the retaliator, right? So toughness, maximum health 10%, Again, maximum health 10%, 15% here, and I'll show you why, because we need this health, uh, attack damage, and uh, retaliator, 3% damage per resistant. So, uh, this is working out pretty well, guys, and uh, let's jump further here uh, into the next bit. Uh, let's just talk about the gear for a moment, because you are going to need two unique items to make this build work. One of them is this great sword, Cipheron, Herald of Change. This sword is going to allow you to cast lightning spells, as you can see here. On the second row, allows the bearer to cast lightning spells. It's going to give a lot of lightning damage to attacks and to the spells also. And it's going to improve your lightning damage with 28%. And uh, in combination with this sword, I have Thirst up here, which will uh, remove 25% of your health. That, this is why that in our passive skills that we have the health buff, so we're not really losing anything, it's returning to zero because we have two points spent in 10% maximum health and 15% maximum health, right? So this is quite nice and it's going to give us 60% spell damage as well some wisdom which will buff our lightning damage and some casting speed so we can cast the lightning even faster and that is awesome combined 
with this sword and the rest here we have flat damage we got some lightning damage adding here uh, and uh, as you can see I've got O'Malley's lucky belt we got some resistance gear ferocity agility we got some different kind of it's, it's not really that uh, amazing this gear that we have on here but it is working giving us resistances which is damage in this build and when we take a look at the numbers here you can see the average uh, damage is 1856 at the moment and we have quite high lightning damage here as well and if I use the shout uh, you can see 2320 is pretty decent and actually um, uh, we are uh, you can see here at the bottom that I have Thunderstrike on here and the average damage right now is 1030 so it's pretty decent guys it's doing a lot of damage and it's really fun to play with this uh, and uh, I, I must say uh, you definitely have to check this out you guys um, so next up we are just gonna take a look at uh, at our active skills as well so let's just start, uh, jump straight into that you can see in number one slot we got bleeding edge and uh, we are running with increased area of effect and unstoppable momentum because then you can jump in you can leave bleeding edge up on the mobs you can roll out and you can use your lightning from afar and it is pretty pretty fun right so we have the uh, thunder strike here increased damage and adds another bounce just to make it do so as much damage as possible right and next up we got the shout uh, we're going to get grant to gain um, uh, sorry to gain rage when we use the shout and uh, the enemies hit with the shout gains weakened stacks uh, also to help us defeat them easier it's pretty good for the bosses also so wings of Ishmael greater rage generation and stuns on impact so when we jump in we stun the enemies we put down our bleeding edge we roll out and we use stun strike on them and it's working pretty awesome right you can also jump in stun them use your hammer as you can see we got increased area of effect from anvil's woe and we have improved critical chance on stunned enemies remember in this build we have quite high uh, crit chance and quite, quite high crit damage as well from both magic attacks and normal attacks so it is working out pretty pretty good right and let me just show you guys what I have spent here um, I, I have 160 points in ferocity, 125 toughness I have a little bit in agility and something in wisdom here as well uh, just to gain just to gain a little bit of everything really I, I think that you could possibly go more gain some more, get some more points in toughness and yeah well I need to play a little bit more with this build but it's working out pretty good already so you can definitely run with this and improve it and yeah you have to try this build out guys it's awesome so let's go ahead and do some more gameplay and I've just started a plus two it's a plus oh, I mean a plus two veteran dungeon yeah it's a plus seven seventy percent extra so let's just go ahead and uh, And have some fun with this. So I really hope that you guys are going to check this out and give this a chance. It's a fun build, but then again it requires you to have the unique item. So if you don't have it, you need to go grind and go get it. Because it is awesome. You can see that just the lightning, I can almost kill this rare guy which is using my lightning abilities there we go
So guys, please remember if you like this build, please give me a like on the video and comment if you're going to use it. And remember as always, subscribe to my channel, keep watching and I'll see you later guys.